Hey, 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 what's up guys? My name is True Underdog, and today I will be telling you how to unlock every Revenant skin in Mortal Kombat X. Now keep in mind, some of these are still up to speculation. Some of them aren't truly confirmed, however I will tell you how I unlocked them, and hopefully I'll shine some light on some things. So first off, let's start with the ones we know for sure how to unlock. First off is Katana's Revenant skin. This is actually very easy to unlock. All you gotta do is go into some online King of the Hill matches, and at the end of each match, you're allowed to pay your respects. Go ahead and give every player 10 points, and you'll be done in about 25 matches. I believe it's 250 points, and then you unlock the skin, and it's great. Next, we have the Sub-Zero Revenant skin. This one is also quite easy and confirmed how to unlock. All you gotta do is beat every single challenge in the Test Your Might Challenge Tower, which is actually not very hard. If you guys want, I could show you a tutorial on how to do it very easy. It's really quite simple. You just gotta kinda cheat the game a little bit with your controller and a little bit of uh, tomfoolery with your uh, button. It's pretty cool. I'll show you how to do it if you guys want. If you request it, I'll show you how to do it. It's very, very easy. Next, we have the Jax Revenant skin. This one is also quite easy, although it doesn't sound like it at first. You have to get 15 false victories, possibly in a row. I'm not sure about that, but I know for a fact that I did mine 15 times in a row. Now, here's how you do it. You go into a custom combat mode, and then you select Danger. This makes it to where you win with a single hit and just do this over and over again until you've won 15 times. Now does it take a little bit of time? Yeah, is it a bit tedious and redundant? Of course, but is it difficult? Not at all. All right, now let's go ahead and get into the ones that are a bit speculated and people still aren't really sure how to get them. First off, we have the Liu Kang Revenant skin. This one I unlocked by just playing online in ranked matches. Now some people believe it actually is just a random drop, and it may be. However, in my experience, I got it after a 10 win streak. So I think you may have to get a 10 win streak and then play 30 matches online. I'm pretty sure that's the requirements. Now my advice to you is to not play a top tier character to get these wins. Just go ahead and have a good time and play the character you enjoy playing. That's the key to actually getting a win streak. Just play a character you like, that way win or lose you're still having fun. And in case this suit is a random drop, you'll still get it just for playing. Which is great. Now on to the next one. We have the Kung Lao Revenant skin. Now this one, in theory, is done by winning 30 King of the Hill matches. Although I'm pretty sure it's just playing 30 King of the Hill matches. Again, Netherrealm is just trying to encourage the gamers to play as many modes as possible and to keep playing the game. That's why these Revenant skins exist, I feel like. They wanted to make sure you played at least one of every category. And that's how you unlock this skin. Just play 30 King of the Hill matches and you should have it. Now next are the Revenant skins that everybody loves and everybody competes for, right? You have the Emperor Liu Kang. Now I'm pretty sure this one is done just by doing 30 tower challenges. Some people will say you have to do gold or something like that. I don't think so. I'm pretty sure if you just keep playing the tower challenges, you'll get it. And many people have told me they got it after just about 8 tower challenges, or maybe even 5. So it could just be a random drop. Unless they're lying, but I really don't think they are. I think it is a random drop once again. Netherrealm just wants you to play the tower challenges. Just do it. Now, the last one is the one that I've always wanted the most, and it's still a bit speculated. It is the Katana Dark Queen skin. This one is pretty badass looking. And honestly, in my experience, the best way to unlock it is to beat a premier living tower with Goro. Now, if you don't have Goro, then just keep playing the living towers and just keep doing it. Eventually, it'll drop out. Some people say you have to get gold, but I've gotten gold a ton, and it never unlocked for me that way. I just went ahead and beat the premier tower with Goro. That's how I unlocked her. So just go ahead and play the living towers if you don't have Goro. If you have Goro, just play a premier tower. You don't have to get gold. You don't have to get a really good score, just beat it and you should unlock it. If you don't get it the first time, then just keep playing the Premier Tower with Goro. Now this can be tricky because the Premier Tower doesn't always allow you to pick your character, so you may not be able to do Goro today or tomorrow, depending on when this video is uploaded. So just take your time with it. Well guys, that pretty much wraps up every single Revenant skin. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more videos. Make sure to come back next time and stay underdogs. We have content on this channel every single day, so keep on watching.